everyone uh, today i'm going to show you how you can create a case cluster in aws environment with the help of terraform script so uh, i've already mentioned my all the script uh, within my uh, this repo so uh, under terraform uh, uh, repo you will find the case creation folder and there you will find the terraform script for a case so here is the main.tf file so here i am creating uh, more than five to six resources uh, for creating our uh, uh, case cluster so uh, i'll also show you how like what the, this resources will do and how will you how we will use this resources in our cluster so uh, let's get started so uh, I've already copied the script in my uh, visual editor so here as you can see uh, here I'm using the data source so what this will uh, this data source will do it will fetch the IP address of my current machine and uh, save it to this uh, variable uh, data dot HTTP so uh, here you will find your uh, uh, IP address of your machine and with the help of local variable I am attaching that IP address uh, with the 32 so uh, like uh, now you will ask why you are uh, you uh, like fetching your machine IP address so what I am doing uh, what uh, I am doing uh, here as you can see in the security group I am taking the reference of that so uh, that IP address will have access to the EKS cluster so yeah so and after uh, like creating security group I will attach the security group to the EKS cluster so so my machine IP address will have the access to the EKS cluster so yeah that is the use of this data source so it's on you uh, it's up to you you can use other IP address also okay so he, uh, here output I am in the output uh, resource I'm fetching the like uh, fetching the subnet ID uh, so as you can see here in the second para uh, I'm also using the data source for the subnets so uh, uh, so as you can see I'm filtering out my subnets with the help of name so as you can see pub star so uh, when you uh, go to the AWS console and when you go to the uh, VPC go to the subnet here you will find uh, three subnets so uh, what you can do you can <coughs> uh, give the name as pub1 okay then save it pub2 save it and then pub3 and save it so what uh, this will do it will uh, like it it's kind of a reject so what it will do it will find the name uh, starting with pub and what whatever subnet w w uh, which will start with uh, pub it will take <laughs> those subnets id and put it into this data source so yeah and here i am printing those uh, subnets id with the help of output okay now here i am creating the security group for our eks cluster so as you can see in ingress i am uh, uh, putting the value of my IP, uh, machine ip address okay so as you can see local dot workstation external id so as you can see local dot workstation external cider so this will put the ip address of the machine and this is the outbound role uh, okay which is already allowed by any ip address here i'm giving the name of the uh, uh security group so it is going to be the cluster name hyphen sg okay now here i'm creating the role for the cluster so as you can see here i'm creating the uh, cluster uh, cluster role and i'm also atta attaching the assume role policy to that role and after creating the cl cluster role i am here attaching the policy cluster policy to that uh, to this uh, im role as you can see here 
resources iim role policy attachment and uh, as you can see the policy here and this is amazon eks cluster policy and i'm attaching this policy to the above rule as you can see i am taking the reference of the above rule so yeah and then i'm creating the cluster so here is the actual uh, resource for creating a cluster so uh, here i am taking the name of the cluster with the help of variable and here i am attaching the role uh, uh, here is the role arn and here i am giving the vpc configuration so as you can see here i am giving the subnet id and here are the endpoints private access and the private public access so this eks cluster is private uh, cluster so as you can see if the private access is true it's mean that is a private cluster uh, or like and uh, for uh, like if you only want to create private cluster then you all also have to mention the public as access to false so then only a uh, terraform will create the private cluster only okay now here i am uh, attaching the security group as we have created in the above uh, resource here okay now after creating the eks cluster i am creating a role for a node so as you can see here i am creating a, a role for a node and uh, then i am also attaching the assume role policy to that node role and then i am attaching a policy to the uh, role node so node role so here as you can see the policy name i'm attaching the uh, amazon eks worker node policy then amazon eks cna policy and then ec2 registry policy to the node role okay and then after creating uh, uh, the node and attaching the policy to that i'm creating a node uh, uh, node okay for the cluster so as you can see i am giving the cluster name so this node will create for this cluster name and then i am giving the node group name and here i am mentioning the node role arn as we have created above and then i am giving the subnet id also and here is the scaling config so here you can mention the desired size maximum size and the minimum size and uh, instance type uh, it's on you whatever machine type you want for your cluster so you can mention here so uh, i believe that i will create uh, like the i am going to mention the instant type as t2.micro and uh, after this uh, i'll show you the content of the variable.tf so here uh, i'm you i'm like using the five variables one is for the region second one is for the vpc id third one is for the cluster name and fourth one is for the node group name and the fifth one is for the node instance type so yeah vpc id we are using it in i'll show you where we are using so we are using it in a subnet id okay like uh, uh, for uh, uh, using this data source we have to mention the vpc id also so the terraform will first go to that this VP vpc id and find out uh, the subnets which is tagged with this vpc id that's why we are giving the vpc id here and uh, for creating the v uh, security group we also have to uh, like uh, use the vpc id when you create manually also you have to give the vpc id so yeah here uh, we are using the vpc id and yeah that's it then the cluster name so in the cluster resource group you will find this cluster name so here i am giving the cluster name here i am giving the node uh, node name and here i am giving the instance type okay so yeah and uh, of of like uh, i have mentioned only two files so you have to create a one more file uh, that is provider.tf so providers.tf you have to uh, also create this file like for the authentication and uh, for initial initial initialization of your <laughs> aws so here you have to write provider and here you have to give aws and under the curly bracket you have to mention the region we can take this from the variable region okay and then 
uh, here you have to also provide the access key and the secret key <coughs> okay so our <coughs> <coughs> So now I'm going to create a access key and the secret key. So I'll go to the IAM. Now you have to uh, go to the my security credentials and then go down here. You will find access key option. So I've already created the two access keys. So I'm going to delete the first one and I will create the new one. So I'm going to create a new access key. Okay, here I've created and I'm going to copy this access key and going to save it here. and i'm also going to paste the secret key and make sure to delete uh, this uh, credential after your work is done so i'm also going to uh, delete this keys after this video okay <clears throat> now you have to open your terminal and here you have to do the terraform in it will face some error i i'm sure of that and we will fix it then only we can learn the terraform and we can work with the terraform easily so it successfully initialized now what i will do i will do the terraform in uh, validate whether to check whether our configuration or the script is correct or not so terraform validate so it's giving us one warning this is not an error so we can go ahead so the subnet data source is uh, deprecated so okay so now uh, do the terraform plan so here it is showing us that though no matching ec2 subnet found okay we'll see so here in the main.tf there's a pub star and here go to the vpc and check the name of the subnets pub1 pub2 pub3 okay so it will take all the three it should take the all the three subnets okay so on the line number nine okay and we'll check he we are in the mumbai region so pro in the provider where dot region ap south one is here okay i believe that vpc id is wrong ah yes so yeah you have to copy the correct vpc id and paste it here that's why it is like looking into the wrong vpc that's why we are getting this subnet error so again uh, do the terraform plan now we like we can go with the terraform apply as you can see we will get the subnet output also as we we are using the output here that's why we got this result okay so it will create nine resources for us as you can see nine to add and now we will do the terraform apply
now uh, the terraform will create some time to create a eks cluster in our aws environment so i believe that it will take uh, 20 minutes yeah so yeah minimum is 20 minutes if you create it manually it, it will also take the 20 minutes only so yeah so you have to wait our cluster is uh, got created successfully so as you can see the logs uh, it took something around 9 minutes 30 seconds to create our cluster our then after cluster creating is, the cluster uh, got created uh, successfully is, so as you can uh, see the log has created uh, the it nodes took something around 9 uh, took minutes 5 30 minutes to, to create our cluster create then the after creating nodes. the cluster so i think uh, 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 it is approximately 15 uh, to 16 minutes uh, created the nodes terraform and took then to node create the whole uh, cluster for 5 us. minutes so, 50 yeah. seconds to create now, the node so uh, i can I'll show you uh, the approximately 15 to 60 uh, minutes uh, terraform to, to create the whole cluster so for us go to the so, yeah. eks now service uh, i'll show you the this cluster uh, in our aws here you'll find the our cluster okay so go so, to the yeah. eks so, so that's how you can and create a cluster for uh, your AWS environment with here you will find the cluster. cluster so okay. if you will face any kind of so, issue yeah. or any so kind of error please that's how you uh, can let create a cluster uh, in the comment section uh, your section and AWS I will environment with reply the help of Terraform to your screen. query so if you will possible. face any kind so of issue or thank any you so much for watching error, my video please, uh, so, let yeah, me know uh, in the comment section section and uh, I will reply to your query as soon as possible so Thank you so much for watching my video. So yeah, bye.